happening and welcome to this video. So in today's video, I wanted to show you Bitcoin because, you know, a lot of people have been asking about Bitcoin and you really have to let, I mean, last video we were talking about bubbles and what they look at. And just look at this chart. Doesn't it look familiar again? You've got this familiar slowdown pattern and then this drop. And um, right now we should be starting to pick up some momentum and then a further drop, just like here, but the reverse of the way around. So where do I think Bitcoin is going? Well, to be honest, nobody actually knows because I think Bitcoin is akin to tulip mania and if you don't know what that is go and look that up because uh, it's quite interesting to read about but bitcoin bitcoin is nothing like one thing people aren't looking at with bitcoin which i think is definitely something that people should be looking at is look at this okay so this is the volume total usd value of trading volume on major bitcoin exchanges and as you can see, around this period now, despite seeing such high prices, we are not seeing this volume dramatically increasing. So I think the fact that people are saying that Bitcoin is the, um, you know, the financial thing of the future is a false claim. Because, I mean, look at this. If it was a real claim, we'd be seeing spiking values way above these 2018 values, but we're just not yet. We're seeing price go up, and this is just simply because demand exactly like the tulip mania. And the other thing is, you know, when you buy a Bitcoin and you pay this price here, what do you get? You don't get anything. Yet, if you buy a kilogram of gold, you get something. You get physical gold, and if it really was a bet against inflation, why would people want to own something? that is completely nothingness. Now, I mean, obviously there are things I like about Bitcoin, don't get me wrong, it's decentralized, uh, governments can't go printing money, but I just think you have to look at this logically. But everyone just seems to have this normalcy bias, and if you don't know what that is, just look that up. But essentially, people are just believing that because it's going up, it's going to continue to go up in value. And then, you know, you've got sponsored articles by banks, hedge funds, and all these things coming out saying with stupid price targets for Bitcoin and institutional interest in Bitcoin is going up and everything like that. And it might be, you know, but Again, like there's no sure way that the normal person like me or you can tell that. And I'm sure as hell not going to believe a news article about it. But a lot of people are getting spooked into believing it. And we've seen the last week extreme volatility. I mean, I don't know about you, but like a currency going from 64,000 or whatever it was at the peak. And then last week it hit 30,000, I think, at the drop at one point. I mean, that is more than a 50% decline. So to say the least, this is definitely not a currency that is going to be used in the future. But I think what people are thinking are, it's like there's a finite amount of Bitcoins and it's not subject to inflation and everything like that. And people are thinking it's more like the new gold. To be totally honest with you guys, I think that Bitcoin is just kind of a like a pump and dump scheme almost. Because if you look back in the chart and we can say history repeats itself, you've got these pumps and then you've got these dumps. And ultimately, like all pump and dumps, afterwards, its value will always be much higher than it was at the start. But the fact is, most people won't be getting in on this start. It's only banks, institutions, and, you know, people who bought Bitcoin prior and they were speculating on it, who will be in the green. Um, and the reason why this price is higher is because people hold. People will hold forever. And uh, they'll just wait and wait and wait. And, you know, like in this case, for instance, the waiting paid off. There was another price bump around 2018, 2019. 
and then you've got this price bump now. So if you held from here, yeah, you did get rewarded, but that's not always the case with these things. And I think it can be very dangerous to just hold it wide open at a massive loss. But if you can afford it, then why not? But yeah, I, th I think Bitcoin is getting kind of stupid. And one of my favorite people is literally Michael Burry because he literally tries, and I say try because he gets laughed at, ridiculed, and that was part of the reason why this tweet was actually deleted, where he warned about Bitcoin and he was saying about the banks being so over leveraged on it. And this is so true when you look at their reserves, but we won't go into that in this video. But basically, like if you're investing in Bitcoin, I mean, at the end of the day, do do whatever you want to do. Like I, I'm just putting these videos out to help people. There's far too many videos out there right now which are saying bye 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 all these pumpers who guess what own bitcoin and i'm not long on bitcoin by the way and i said in my previous videos but if i'm long or short on anything then i will let you guys know i feel like i have to be transparent because that's fair but when you look at bitcoin and this price action it just does not look like something you want to get into i mean if you got in down here then of course you you might hold thinking it's going to go higher because you can hold because you're all the way down here like the time it will take to get to that well i say the time i mean in a day it dropped like fifteen thousand. so i wouldn't wow well, it wasn't even a day actually i think it was less than an hour on Thursday or whenever that was last week, kind of crazy. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to make that video to show you, you know, this is Bitcoin. Listen to Michael Burry, if you're not gonna listen to me. He is a very, very well-known investor and he is well-known for finding bubbles. Like that is literally his number one thing. But every time he comes out of the woods, he gets ridiculed. And that's why he deleted his tweet. And I think he's deleted his Twitter account now. Because, you know, people just have a normality bias and it's, it's a joke. And yeah, central banks are coming out like Bank of England, Bank of Canada, the US Federal Reserve. And they are talking negative about Bitcoin. And that's because I believe the central banks... They don't represent the people, they don't represent the government, they just represent the banks. So at the end of the day, in the case of Bitcoin, they are just representing the banks. So, but yeah, this Bitcoin bubble, who knows when it will end and who knows what will be the floor of the price as well. But we'll just wait to see and it is what it is. I'm just kind of hesitant to invest in anything like this where you're actually getting zero. You don't have anything. You just have literally a number in an account. And yeah, you can take custody of it and put it on a hard drive. But it's not physical. It's just, you know, like tulips. It's so like tulips. It's unbelievable. But everybody right now is rushing in to any get rich quick scheme that they can think of. And I think that is the most dangerous thing here that we have to watch. We have to, and, and this is why I've come out with this channel is because I just want to help people. You know, people who are sat on the fence and searching for these videos, which is going to be not many people because most people are searching for why to buy something, not why not to buy it. But there are going to be some people and hopefully this video gives them some clarity that they're not the only one. There are a lot of people that are also, you know, sat on the fence about it. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.